Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to the WWE 2K19 My Player My Career. And we are finally actually getting back into the career this time. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. I'm K1. I woke up to my dog having chewed through my charger today, so that was nice. Luckily I had a backup. Um from the snafu with the uh external hard drive on my PS4 um because I bought the wrong thing at Walmart not realized it but was able to use it which was nice um so yeah so I, it actually ended up coming in handy which is a, a very unexpected thing all right let's talk to Kurt Engel match was the best possible solution to settle the issues between you and Bray Wyatt but obviously I was wrong so I've decided that at the Royal Rumble you and Finn Balor would take on Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn in an extreme roles match. Oh, Matthew Hardy. Do not express worry. I have made many successful jumps to the boat divers. If you don't mind me asking, where exactly is it? Or when exactly is it? Ah, uh, this isn't making me any less word. Have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a calendar. Instead, it's all around us, all the time. Don't you remember from your last journey? No, different vessel, remember? Oh, yes. On your previous visit, I believe your spirit was held in the vessel of an ostrich. Such a fantastic pheasant. Of course, it was a fucking ostrich. That's awesome, though. You really think Matt Hardy can help me? Since he's become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden away dark places. Which is exactly what you need to do if we're going to defeat Bray and rescue your friend. I'm kind of afraid to see where Matt will take me. That's good. You can harness your fear to fuel your inner demon. Man, sometimes I miss the days when the scariest thing I had to do was dress up like The Miz. I was thinking you and Finn Balor might want to team up to my Raw. That way you two can get used to working with each other before your big match of the Rumble. Who would your opponent, our opponents be? Figured I'd put you guys up against Raw's tag team specialist to the Rival, so you want the match or no? Sure. I think it's a great idea to give Finn and I a chance to have a warm-up match, so yes, we'll do it. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea. we got to be working on the same page. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. So I found out this song's by, by um, breakout talents against the revival. I Papa Roach. Wait. I did not real. I did not expect that. Oh, somebody sound the alarm. Fires will light in the dark. As I met you know, no one I'm nameless, we're not faceless, we were born for greatness. It's a very good song. That music can mean only one thing. It's fun! Go away. After that, go. I love their theme song. Alright, here we go. Oh! This is it. That. Team action underway here, guys. <laughs> I used it to hit Dawson in the face. The card for tonight. This or dash in the face, I mean. As one you don't want to miss. Scott Dawson says he is an innovator in the ring while still being old school. Well, taking lessons from some of the greats like the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Scott Dawson prides himself on being a ring general. Except they can't flip for shit. Did I really miss I that? Not, oh, fuck you, game. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Tremendous ring. Damn you, Dash. Up. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Fuck. Nope. I, got <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it worked. <laughs> Can I just hit him without getting hit, please?
Block and press. Oh boy. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they develop into a top tag team. I'm sorry, but I believe you're talking about D-Bar. <coughs> oh, I love the bar. I miss him. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, I did. superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss cyborg and Celtic warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Boom! Finn Balor with an easy kick out there. Gonna take more than that. Beautiful athleticism. Oh, what impact! That wasn't a chop block, dumbass. Oh, goodness! Jam your leg in a bad way. What a scary drop! What a stop! Good grief! Oh, man, what a hit. I really hope that 2K20 fixes the shitty fucking commentary. I'm tired of it. I can't stand it. He can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning. Oh, wow, will be. this is all part of the process, Ooh. guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. We know Finn Balor is gained. Can I get up, please? Jesus, it's hard not to get his shoulders are down. Scott Dawson powers that shoulder up. Wow, not happening, Dash. Finn gaining his fans after the match, and judging by this crowd during his entrance, I would say the Balor Cup is for everyone. Can someone be a good brother and give me a two sweep? Oh my God! Saxon, someone kill Cole or kill Saxon. Saxon. You are banned from doing that hand gesture. Your privileges of the Balor Club have been revoked. Someone kill him, please. Keep it up. Your privileges as a commentator are going to be revoked too. Hey, do it now. Just do it now, Corey, please. Hey, I'm doing a fin taunt, or close to a fin taunt at least. Dash Wilder on some offense now. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate Jeez. his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. Dash is finally in the match. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. Kick to the... Putting it all on the line. I may do that. And he's heading back in. Uh -oh. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. No oh, shit, I missed him. Looking beaten down at this point. He's been through a lot. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team there match is all but over. He's in a bad spot here, Cole. It's absolutely vital that he get to his corner and make the tag. Otherwise, will he be victorious? A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. The officer showing just how tough he really is with that kick out. Moonsault. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. Boom, Dawson takes out the knee. Uh-oh. That's how you... He's got the shoulders down. And the count... Not a chance. God damn it, Dash. German suplex. Oh, you fuck one. He's a weary here. His hopes of winning this tag match are starting to dwindle. And it's reversed. A torturous knee. Beautiful technique. 
What a chop. I, mean, I may have also hit my partner, but the purpose of the move got done. Holy shit, Finn's about to have three finishers just held up and ready. Almost threw the turnbuckle. It's not Scott Dawson's night, guys. It's just not. Things do not look good for Scott Dawson. I mean, do that. His opponent from the top turnbuckle. Can he finish him off here? He goes for the cover. display we've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one overall this match was good job Finn. At best but not every match is going to be memorable in fact I, I had no issue with Finn being the person who, who, who lost this match What a team. What a team. Decisive pinfall victory. Now you just got to take the win. Uh, and for those of you wondering, when will the NXT TakeOver 25 uh, review be out? Most likely tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to be watching it tonight. I'm going to record the final episode, start recording the final episode of Championship Scramble, which might be a two-parter. I'm not entirely sure yet. It might go Monday and Friday um, since I'm playing a, to do a kind of big tournament. Is it just gonna be the same shit matter he said to me? Do not yeah, okay. Alright, go to multiverse. Welcome Holy shit. What kind of drugs do you put me on, Matt? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Where's my... Oh, shit. Ah, yes. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the fight of that wicked osp. What the hell's behind me? Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. This is so weird Was I and cool. Some kind of explorer? No, you were a polar bear. No. Yes! You were a polar bear. I, I don't even mind. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No. no. Your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. What's next? The ostrich? What's that? I think it's the blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us in the world. He is the soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must face your fears to find your inner demon, brother Buzz. I warned you not to get on Triple H's back. Uh, you're like the sun to me. You're like the sun to me. Uh, you're like the sun to me. Stop. That's it. You did it. You're now ready to create your. Oh, please tell me I actually have to build, build my own demon. Please. Please let me be able to. Oh my god, I'm going to be able to, aren't I? Yes! Thank god. We're, don't worry, we'll make this look better than the championship I made. Oh.
Um. Once I choose, is it just chosen or do I get to look at what they're all about? One sec. I don't get to talk to him at all. Yeah. I wanted to do this one though, but that's why I figured I'd try with it first. Delete the consumer terrestrial entities. Yes. I look bad. I look pretty badass. I, I'm not gonna fucking deny. I look pretty badass. I was gonna choose the deceiver, but I was like, I don't want it to be a buzz ripoff or a, a uh, Finn Balor ripoff. So. So instead, I chose to be the Arctic Behemoth because I think it's out of the four of them, it's the only one that actually looked anything cool. Like the other, or out of the three that I could have chosen, it was the only one that actually looked anything cool. The Seaver looked awesome, but it's just Finn Balor's stuff. So. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Bzz, wake up! I'm talking to you, Finn. Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed minute weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it. In your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. <laughs> yes, I love. I'm sorry, Matt Hardy's my favorite part of this. A little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight. So you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry. Okay, I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for. And you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks. Weeks. That's that is pretty insane that he's gone for weeks. I don't remember where we were at. I think we were just after the last pay-per-view when with the last episode. And now we're God damn, now we're super far through. That's insane. We're at we're at Royal Rumble officially. Got about twelve minutes left. Hopefully I can just tag match and then that that can finish this episode. I think it might finish this chapter as well. We're near the end, guys. Uh, just like last time, I'm only going to go to WrestleMania, and then we're going to stop it. Uh, I'm going to continue the story mode after that, um, doing matches, whatnot. But again, it seems like they only set it up for a series uh, for the first sort of year of your career. So you go until WrestleMania, and there's not really much after that, um, is how they've done it in the past. And I feel like that's how they've done it in this game as well. So there's not going to be much for me to do after... After uh, Mania, I'm pretty sure. Get ready to feel the buzz. It's buzz. Oh, I'm even coming out to Finn's music. That's awesome. Or is Finn coming out to his? I should have done the Deceiver. It would have been cooler. If I if I had known I was coming out to Finn's music, I would have I would have done the Deceiver. We're gonna watch this fully because. Padding for time, no. Because I want to see what my guy looks like coming out to this. It'd be cool if I rose up from the stage. Oh, that is Finn, damn. Oh, no, I'm behind him. I look badass. I'm sorry, but this fits so fucking perfectly. I'm so happy. Oh, I didn't turn around. That's... Okay, that's a little disappointing. I should have turned around. Oh, that's cool, though, that we're face-to-face. -face. I like it. Oh, that was cute. We did it the same. We put our arms down together. Aw. I wish they would have given me more than just the normal manager walk bullshit, though. 
I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't try to make the entrance a little bit more fleshed out for my character. Like, they got Finn doing all this cool shit, and they just got me doing generic walk number two. <laughs> I should have done Deceiver. It would have been badass. I might have to do another story mode. Do another career. On Buzz's falling out with Baron Blade, but less is known about Buzz's other mentor, his father. I do know, however, that Buzz has an old safe voicemail from him that he uses as motivation before his matches. Saxton, you've been snooping through people's phones again. No, Buzz told me about it, I swear. This is a very long entrance, but it's cool as hell. It reminds me very much, my, my character right now, Alexia, reminds me very much of, uh, of Krom, the character I made last year for Gordon Perkins. Um, makes me miss Krom very much. <laughs> I still have the fucking polar bear head on me. We're not gonna watch Bray's entrance. We've only got time for one long entrance. Why do I still have uh why do I still have the polar bear head on After me? I was hoping to not Wyatt have the polar bear. And Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this. An extreme rules tag match where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal. I do like the fact that I have the polar bear head on me because it does look really cool. However, I would have enjoyed not having the polar bear head on me during the match. It'll look cooler. I did not mean to grab the stairs. It will work. It works though. Right into the steps, man. Oof. Back now inside the ring. Penny predicament. No trouble getting out of that one. Gonna take a whole lot more. Oh, the old head scissor. It goes down hard. I wish they could have let me update the taunts and shit. That would have been cool. What the fuck? I reversed that! Or I freaking sent him into the ropes. And now I'm rolling away. Pick the leg. Specifically targeting the leg. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, perfect kick. Finn Balor is Irish and they're known for the gift of gab. Oh, because he was taunting. Stop saying Irish things, Byron. God damn it. I tried. Attack to the neck. Is it enough to end this match? I think we know what this is. Spike DDT. Oh, that is that it? Is it over? He could do it here. 
He's definitely tapped a power source. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. But he drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. We may be looking... Oh! I knew it was only a matter of time. And they kick out in two. Balor shooting out of that pinball like a bullet. He's a one-man wrecking crew. He's making a statement here with this attack. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Oh yeah! I get to do oh, you Jamie son of a bitch! Turn this thing around. What a stop! Good grief! I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Through the turnbuckle. Game, set, match. Here's the cover. He gets the shoulder up in time. He's still in this. Put him down on the ground, Finn. I gotta hit him. Now that's rolling me out. Fuck. Oh boy, he is rolling. No shit, I'm rolling, motherfucker. I just rolled out of the ring. Oh, what a, Ooh, a detonation kick. Face. Keep your eye on this one. Mm, Finn, no! Finn, no! I gotta, I gotta do another recovery, God damn it! Bray has a signature and a finisher. Oh, right on the call! Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Oh boy, he is good. What does Buzz have in store? What a frog splash! Hey, kick out. This one's not over yet. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. There it is! Did you I want I, I want to get with the uh her the, the tornado DDT. One more time! Oh, tornado DDT! But can he follow up here? Things don't look good for Bray Wyatt. He's going for it all. Finn Bauer is in position. Come on! Fox Flash! Wow. One! Two! Two! Three! Fox with a W! Wow! Congratulations, Buzz! And here's another quick look at those superstars in action. Also, I think I have changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do 2K20 Almost story mode. Um, depending on what it is, I, I want to wait and just, I, I want to wait to see what a little bit of what's well. gonna be. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up doing 2K20 story mode as well. Around. Once really it comes out, the 1916 Frog Splash was awesome. Demon to walk alongside the Demon King Finn Balor, but Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. Bray never cared about you. But I do. But I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. Sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. Well, I feel like he's gonna attack me. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control. <gasps> yes! That's just too sweet! Bauer doesn't just throw that gesture around anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. Continue. That was probably the coolest match I've done in this story mode so far. Um, one, you guys pick a fucking person to go alongside the Demon King Finn Balor. And you could have even chosen a Finn Balor kind of lookalike thing if you wanted. I chose not to because I didn't want it to be generic like that. I, and I thought I was going to create my own, which would have been awesome. But, you know, Buzz hopes... He's finally seen the last Bray Wyatt. The rivalry took him both physically and emotionally. Buzz has had many allies in WWE. If team with Finn Balor defeat Bray Wyatt, it appears their alliance is too sweet. <laughs> no, it's gonna fucking say it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, is that okay? So we're gonna quickly update. We're gonna check messages and shit, and then we'll.
So you did for Cole. Hope he's okay from here on out. Nice to know he's yeah, Fuck you. No idea what happened in the last few weeks. Feel like it was a bad dream. Thanks for helping me get rid of Bray. You're a true friend. You finally beat Bray and your demon look was so cool. Good job, Buzz. Think we proved we make quite the team. Look forward to doing it again sometime. Welcome to the club. Ha! Ha ha ha. It's a very good one, Finn. Good. That was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, man. I'm I'm loving this story mode. It's so... It's so over the top and odd. And I love it. And I love it for the reason of... We get to do... One, we get to... Voice acting, which means I don't have to do as much voice acting. Like, yeah, occasionally I still have to say things. But normally, for the most part, he's voice acted, which is very nice. Um, I really, really like that fact. Um, that I don't have to do a whole lot of the work for voice acting because that's what, that's one of the issues I've had with the past few story modes like 2k uh, 18 2k 17 and such I had to do so much voice stuff Um, but this one makes it a little bit easier for me. All right. Uh, oh shit. I have to go to the sub style tree All right, I'm gonna do too much of this. I'll do a huge amount of this off camera. Uh, mostly because we're already over time right now. And I just want to give you guys a few minutes. I just want to talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the So, yeah. The TakeOver 25 review will most likely be coming out tomorrow morning. Depending on how long I play. I'm going to be working on the, champ the last episode of Championship Scramble. I'm going to try to get all done in a day. The full tournament. I don't know how many people I'm going to put in the tournament yet. But I want to get the full tournament done in like a day. Um, is my plan. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time though, is the problem, obviously, but it should be fun. Alright, and then we'll go into this one and unlock a few things here. I wish I could change my, my paybacks. That's the one issue I've had with this, is you can't change the paybacks you have. At least as far as I know, you cannot change them, um, which annoys me a little bit. Alright, but that is gonna do it for, oh, there's a podcast. Uh, we'll listen to that next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.